Hello everybody, are we ready to try some highlighted items today? Let's see how we can create this effect in Canva. Let's go. The first thing you're going to need to do is prep your page with your elements, photos, whatever you're going to use, and your text in the style that you want to do it. So once you have that done, so if you have something like this where you have few things together like an item and some text to go with it underneath. What you want to do is group all of those first. So let's go through here and group all of these. I'm going to group these because we want them to be like one item. So we're going to group these together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into position over here. We're going to click each one and then we're going to take our transparency down to 25. You can take it uh, to 50 or whatever your preference is. I prefer 25. That, that is just how I'm going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take them all down to 25. So I'm going to click here in this box. I'm going to hit 25. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go over here and click my next group. I'm going to hit the transparency. I'm going to go to 25, hit enter. And then I'm going to go over here to my next group and I'm going to hit the transparency button once again. And I'm going to go to 25 and enter. So now that I have my page prepped with everything transparent as I would like it, what I'm going to do is I have four items I want to highlight. So I need to have these come up four times. So what I want to do is duplicate this page four times. So I'm going to duplicate the page one, two, three, Four. And I'm going to do one more because I'm going to try something at the very end that I haven't tried yet. And a little secret secret. All right. So now that I have it, I want them all faded out at the first slide. So the second, the second one I wanted to do is I want to go and I want to highlight my first item. So I'm going to click over here in position and I'm going to take this back up by transparency back up to 100. Okay. So we got that one. So my second slide I want to do the second one. So what I want to do there is I want to go up to my transparency. I want to put that up to 100. My third slide will be my third item. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take that transparency all the way up to 100. And my fourth slide, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take my transparency all the way back up to 100. And then what I want to try on my last slide, I want them all. So I'm going to go through and I am going to make sure when you're doing your transparency for a whole group, you're clicking in here in your layers part, because if you click over here, you might only be changing the transparency to one piece of here. So anytime you're using grouped for anything, animation, uh, transparency, anything like that, and you want to, the whole group it, to apply to the whole group, Come over here in your layers and hit it in your layers versus going here and click. See if I click here, the transparency for this is the only thing that's going to move versus if I click over here, it's going to make sure that the transparency goes for the whole entire item. So that's something I stress in all of my videos because back in the day before the layers, I used to have a little trouble with that. Um, but now I don't have to with the layers. So now what I want to do is you, if you look at what I've got, it's a little choppy. It'll, they'll just like spring up. So what I did to keep them from, to make it look a little bit smoother is I went in here and I put match and move. And then what I do is I'm going to apply it between all the pages. So now I want to see how my transition is. So now that's a little bit smoother and you can go in here and change your match and move. So if you first, what you want to do before you do any of that is get the timing of your slides before you adjust your match and move to go. However you want to do it. So let's go in here and say we want each slide to be like two seconds. So let's go into our slide. Go up here and we want them at two. So we're going to put two, enter, 
all pages. So now each page is two seconds. So now what you want to do is work on your transition. So let's go here. Let's lengthen our match and move. So we're going to put it up to a second. That way it'll be like a slower one. So we want to apply that between all the pages. Make sure that looks like it took between all of those. And let's see what it looks like now. If you notice anything, when you do anything with these transitions, if you notice we, these were all at 2%, I mean two seconds, sorry. When you do anything with any kind of transition, it'll shave some time off. So a lot of times what you want to do is either add extra or you want to go and make sure that you do the transition first and then change your timing. So like here, I got I can go back and take these and put it back at two, apply between the pages, and now they're back at two seconds because my match and move shaves some seconds off when it does it. I don't know why the transitions do it. It just do. So now if you see it, it's a fade in kind of deal. They kind of pop out versus kind of that hard static snap into the page. And that is how you do the transitions. You can use a photo to do that, to highlight the photo. Um, the other thing I did with the other piece was just add a light bulb on the top. And when I moved it, it moved with it. So the match and move would make that move across. So all I did with the light bulb was just take the light bulb and put the light, like the light bulb. I'm not going to get a light bulb, but we'll just get some random element to put up there real quick so I can kind of show you. So let's do it with the thumbs. Let's do a thumb. Woo woo. Thumbs up, people. So I just did a thumb. And then what I did is I just matched and moved that all the way across. And that's all I did with that. But your imagination is yours. You can make them wonderful, beautiful, and anything you want it to be. And that is all for that this tutorial today. I thank you guys for stopping by. I've been loving the comments. I've been loving the like and love I've been getting from you guys. I much appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you on the next tutorial. I'm Michelle, and I'll see you next time.